Hello and welcome to this beginner's guide to Marvelous Designer series where we will go over the basics of using Marvelous Designer such as this interface and creating some simple garments. So in this video we're actually just going to look at everything sort of outside the 3D and 2D window here. So this kind of little horseshoe shape I'm making with my mouse. So at the top we've got our obvious toolbars, you know, your files which allow you to create new ones, open some, add pre-existing ones into this scene. So with add we can add a garment and we can add cargo pants and we can add them into the scene like so. So you can build these all separately and put them all together onto one avatar. And then you got things like import so you can import different model types import it into the scene like we did with the addition just then and then we got you know export snapshot so we'll take a snapshot next long we got edit edits as simple as it gets in everything else you know you get your undos your redos your deletes your copies your selects and then just all the tools that will be here when you use stuff like right click in the menus but they're there anyway so we don't need to discuss them just yet Again with the 3D garment we've got everything that's on the sort of these interface buttons here. Same with materials, avatar. We can delete all avatars in the scene which will delete this human. We can delete all the scenes slash props. Or we can get some measurements and take basic measurements. So you can get a basic tape measure of your avatar here. So we'll know that their arm it, their upper arm is 24.18 centimeters in radius, for example. Uh, we have reset joints, so it will reset the joints back to their default roots. And we got avatar editor, which allows us to edit and add things to the default included avatars. I accidentally opened up that. So you can add different hairstyles, different shoe styles. and just the overall different avatar you know and they all sort of have their own shapes and measurements and obviously genders okay but you can't undo those changes using control Z so you'd have to go back into the avatar and change it then you got preferences which can change how the sort of software works, the settings, so we got the language it's in, the user settings you might want to choose, which I gotta admit the menu for this is really not nice at all. And our deactivate license if you want to move it onto a new computer, and then you got the usual help, which will give you manuals, tutorials, questions, and the new features, etc. So I'm just breezing through them as they're the typical thing you'd find in any piece of software. Next up we're going to get into the important stuff. So on this left pane here we have at the top our uh, sort of folder directories we've got here. So these are our favorite folder directories. We've got our garments, our avatars, our hangers which come included, poses for each type of included avatar, some shoulder pads in case you need them, so that just so that just adds shoulder pads here in case you want that sort of really big looking shoulder shape like that. And then we got different motions. So poses would be different static poses that the avatar can move to, and a motion is an animation moment motion. Oh, she forgot that one pad here that the avatar can play when simulating. So that changes these browsers here as you saw. So in Garmin it will have the clothes garments you have been saving. So you can just drag them in and load them into the scene. Like so. They'll load exactly where they were saved. Next up we've got the history and 3D state. So if we click 3D state it will delete all the history up until this state and so if we go back 
because this is when we opened our new sort of garment here, any history after it and before it has been erased and this was our last save point, essentially. So that's what the th state will do. And the history, if we go back to where we just selected everything from the delete, you'll see it'll undo up to that point. So very helpful tool. Now we're going to ignore again the 3D and the 2D pane. We're going to come over here. So at the top are just some notifications that will take you to your browser. We don't need to be too interested in them. Obviously you've got your, your page and user settings and things. So a lot of this is just the online bit here. Uh, the simulation here can start a simulation. So that's this bit or it starts an animation which is a more in-depth animation style of what you want the motion the, for them to complete to be. We'll go back to simulation and in the object browser we have two things. We have the scene and the fabric. So in the scene this is like any 3D modeling software. It tells us what is currently in this scene we're using right now. Well, we have a wind controller. We have some properties for the simulation. We have our avatar. We have a camera and we've got our lights. And obviously we've got our 2D patterns which is in this 2D window here. So that's everything that is loaded up in this scene project. Fabric is the materials and the way the materials react, their colors, their textures, everything about them, their physical properties, their names, their thickness, literally anything you could even want to imagine is in this material. And obviously here what I was using then is our final thing, that is the property editor, where we can edit anything about the things we have selected. And we can also obviously get details on them. We get their properties. So I can change this to have a nice red. And now anything using the default fabric up here will now have that red material because it's selected and we changed it to red. Okay, so that's all we need to know about this bit here. That was really simple and fast. Next, we'll be jumping into the 2D browser here and the video after that will jump into the 3D browser before bringing it all together and creating our first garment so we can get to use the entire piece of software at once. So I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, a dislike if you didn't, and as always, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more.